so let's look at the last team that I think is realistic, Miami. Do you think the Miami Dolphins would trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, say, uh, this offseason, next offseason, 2022? Um, I think Miami is unlikely in a sense, but I think Miami is the team that I can kind of concoct a case that kind of makes sense to me, if that makes sense. So bear with me for a second. Sure. I think where Miami falls in is that you could get the Ryan Tannehill scenario with Jimmy Garoppolo. And I'm not saying Garoppolo will end up playing as well as Ryan Tannehill, but you could say this, take the same. It's a blueprint. Like, it's a blueprint. Right? Yes. Like, so, so this, this, but this is also a 2022 move, not a 2021 move. So you okay. go through 2021, Tua doesn't look good again, right? Tua doesn't look like that guy. He doesn't look much better than how he looked in his rookie mm -hmm. season. There's still questions about whether he can function within the pocket, especially function within the pocket with pressure, because that's a big problem. In Alabama, he used to just run out of that pocket yes. when there was a slightest bit of pressure and create space for him. And because he played like that, he got injured a lot because he took hits that he was not athletic enough to avoid. And Correct. now in the NFL, he's less athletic because of his injury, so he can't yeah. run out of it. And he does not function with bodies around him well. And the speed he of the didn't game do is it faster. at Alabama, right? He didn't. Right. He didn't do it his rookie year in Miami. Let's say that that stays the same. Well, now Miami has the assets, and I think they it have will. a coaching staff with Brian Flores, who's familiar with Tua. You have all of that, and what you could do familiar with Jimmy is with Jimmy, not Tua. Excuse yeah, me, gotcha. gotcha. familiar with Tua too, technically. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But, but um familiar with jimmy and what you could do is you could trade i mean again this wouldn't be a high pick this would be like a third or fourth round pick maybe have the niners pay half his salary the way miami or the way tennessee made miami do it back in the day have jimmy be on the last year of his contract have it be like a one-year eight million dollar deal and make two of the starter and have jimmy come in and be your high priced if something if Tua doesn't perform because at that point that roster there will be pressure on that roster to win even with those assets, if Brian Flores doesn't have a winning it's season really in 2021, they'll have three losing seasons with a team that allegedly looked like they really turned it around. Or they were, didn't have a losing season last year, sorry. They would have three yeah. non-playoff seasons. And with a team that really looked like they turned around the roster in a division that has Josh Allen and, you know, who knows, maybe Robert Sala does something with the Jets and the Jets look good. There will be a ton of pressure on them to win, so they wouldn't risk it going with two a year three and give them one more chance there would just be too much pressure on them to win and that to me is a scenario that makes sense and then maybe jimmy has a resurgence in miami you know two of plays makes four sense. games like mariota isn't good and then jimmy comes in and plays really good football they have jalen waddle will fuller is there Devonte parker is still a solid player i mean they have a they have an offensive line with a bunch of talent invested in it if that talent performs it could be a good offensive line they have a good defense i good like flores end. as a coach i like flores as a defensive coordinator right good tight end gasecki's a hell of a player yeah. so good wide receiver if, if, yeah if you're gonna make a case to me i uh miami is is the, the most case likely that i can kind of make up yeah. but even then i look at miami and i say if Tua doesn't work out Miami has so many assets. Why wouldn't they just trade up and try to get the next quarterback? Maybe they have some sort sure. of fear because of what happened with Tua. They have a but ton Miami of assets, has the assets they? to make the move and go get their guy. They have a move. They have the assets to make a move. At Deshaun How'd they Watson get these right assets now? Again? Remind me. Remind me. What'd they do? How'd they do this? Oh, they traded Laramie Tunsil. Bingo. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. So they had they got extra first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not from the Niners, though. Only from Laramie Tunsil. I got it. So they could go get. They could get whoever they want, they and they're a good Watson. team. They're still in the best spot to get Watson. I mean, if they can right. get Watson, why can't they get Rodgers? Right. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well, Jimmy Garoppolo goes somewhere, I guess. It seems like we're thinking the most likely scenario, the ones we've presented, is Miami. But at the same time, there's problems with that, too. So, so I don't know. If you we... know what I think is the most likely scenario, Grant? Tell me. And I, unfortunately, we couldn't bring up this scenario because of the context we had this conversation within. I think yeah. the most likely scenario is that he inevitably ends up getting cut hmm. and he signs as a backup somewhere one year, $8 million, highly paid backup. Next and, year or this yeah. year? Yeah. Yeah. Next, next year. year. Yeah. And he, if he, he gets the Mac Jones to play again, maybe he plays. Maybe he's Mac Jones' backup. He could be Mac Jones' backup. Mac Jones' backup. But I don't see any scenario where he's traded for to be a starter in 2022. That just doesn't make sense. You don't do that for 31 year old guys who are paid more than what their actual value is, who have injury issues, aren't mobile, 
and yeah, 